what's going on YouTube this is mama five and today I'm back with another video hopefully you guys um, are having a great Saturday I know I am it's just a bit tad bit not even a tad bit it's a lot of hot in Michigan you guys it's like almost 100 degrees in Michigan today so I'm just trying to stay in the house in the air and beat the heat me and the kitties um, so I hope you guys are enjoying you guys Saturday hopefully wherever you are you're enjoying your day um, this is going to be my 2019 top 10 bath and body works florals video my favorite this does not necessarily have to be you guys favorites but these are the florals that I am currently enjoying or have enjoyed um, in my collection and I have two honorable mentions to mention to you guys so I don't want to have this video too long let me get right into it coming in at number 10 this is an oldie book goodie this is one of the first bath and body works since that I can remember when I was growing up this is sweet pea okay and the notes to sweet pea are sweet pea water repair sheer freesia luscious raspberry and soft musk uh the floral in this is sheer freesia okay this is number 10 on my top 10 florals list sweet pea okay okay number nine on the list so i was gonna say number 10 i'm already getting all tongue-tied <laughs> number nine on my top 10 is love and sunshine now this was up in this was still sold in stores up until i believe last year this is when they retired it i think don't quote me on that but this is a very very good one i think you might be able to still catch this online as well as sweet pea um very good springtime floral scent and the scent notes to this are or is sunkissed daisies sweet lemon um mara or mara strawberry golden honeysuckle and sun, sunshine musk and this is number nine love and sunshine okay number eight on my top ten is the very very feminine amber blush Try to turn it where I can get the whole bottle. There you go. Um, this is another throwback <laughs> scent. It this is a very, very fem feminine, very, very pretty floral scent. I would recommend wearing this anything with amber. I would probably only wear in the warm the colder months, excuse me. Just like I would wear anything cashmere in colder months. Now I wear it, I wear all my scents all throughout the year, but some of the some of the things smells better in certain types of weather this is one of them again number eight amber blush okay and the um scent notes to amber blush are um raspberry champagne gardenia petals magnolia blossom crystallized amber and vanilla suede this is number eight amber blush a real good one and another one coming in at number seven another amber scent that's very very good for the, the colder months another throwback <laughs> this is sensual amber and again just like its name it's a very sensual very type of sexy date night type of scent i really really enjoy this one um i don't know if this one is online in the retired scent section but you guys can check this out this is a really really good one um, the notes are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. You guys know I love my sandalwood, my amber, my jasmine, my cashmere. Anything with those scents, I'm probably going to get. Okay. That is number... What number is that? Seven. Okay. Coming in at number six is one that I believe is still sold in stores. Um, it's a very, very good one. Another sexy, sexy scent. This is A Thousand Wishes. Okay. The scent notes to A Thousand Wishes. Or Wishes, excuse me. <laughs> um, pink Prosecco, Sparkling Kinkse or Kinks. Uh, crystal Peonies or Peonies. Is it Gilded, gilded Amber, excuse me, and Amarado Cream. Number seven, a thousand wishes. Still sold in stores, you guys. So whoever doesn't 
have this in their collection or haven't had a chance to try it, go run up to your store and try that one. It's a good one for the colder months as well. Okay, now since we're down to our last top five, I'm going to give you my two top um, honorable mentions. And these are the ones that are in the collection that just came out. This is Desert Wildflower. And of course, Cactus Blossom. Okay. Um, maybe these will make the top 10 uh, countdown next year. But this year I thought I should um, do some of the ones that I just did. Okay. And the scent notes for these two are for Desert Wildflower. is Wildflower Splendid with Jasmine and Creamy Sandalwood. Again, two of my favorite um, scent notes. And for Cactus Blossom, it is Bright Cactus Petals, excuse me, blended with sun-kissed coconut and vanilla. You guys, I am a very, very fast talker, which leads me to stumble over my words sometimes. So please do forgive me for that. I do not mean any harm. Hopefully you guys are understanding what I am saying, okay? Okay, and this is, these two were my um, honorable mentions. All right, let's jump into the top five. Coming in at number five is a very, very, this probably is the sexiest scent out of all of them. I've actually been wearing this currently to work and I have been getting a lot of comment, compliments, excuse me, on them, on it. And it's not even really cold outside. Like I will wear this in the cooler months, but I haven't worn it in the heat. Don't judge me. This is number five, Dark Kiss in my top florals. Okay, and the scent notes are black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. The floral in this is, of course, burgundy rose. This smells so good, you guys. Again, another retired scent, but I think you can still catch this online or at the semi-annual sales when they come up. Okay, down to the top four, you guys. Four. Probably couldn't see all four of my fingers in the camera, but that was four four fingers. Um, you guys, I record from my iPhone. I do not have a camera yet. I'm not balling like all the other YouTubers. I will get to that point where I can invest in a camera and the quality of my videos will probably go up. So bear with me, my subscribers and new subscribers. Okay. Coming in at number four, this is one that came out in the fall, originally came out in the fall of 2017. It was one of my favorites in this collection. This is bright autumn blooms now they did bring this back last year for two, two, 2018 excuse me 2018 is what i was trying to say um and they didn't bring it back this year from what i see so that's surprising because it's one of the the better ones so one of the ones that i know everybody was feeling um uh and this the scent notes for bright autumn blooms are warm marigold petals sparkling bergamot cedar leaf golden amber and sandalwood i really do enjoy this scent i'm actually gonna leave this out front so i can start wearing this again this is number four in my top 10 fall is in the air bright autumn blooms okay you guys we are down to the top three i'm sure you guys know what one of them is going to be <laughs> okay this is um number three and I think this one came out summer of last year, I believe this came out. Yeah, summer of last year. This one to me smells like almost identical. If you guys like high-end perfume, and if you're familiar with Chanel perfumes, the pink Chanel Chance, I think it's called Otundre or whatever it is. It's the pink one though in the Chanel Chance line. This smells exactly too, exactly, exactly, almost a dupe to that in my opinion. Um, this is Picnic Summer Daisies. And again, this came out in the, the summer collection of 2018. They have not brought this back yet, but I do enjoy this scent and I'm glad I was able to pick it up when they did have it out. It smells just like some Chanel Chance, the pink bottle. Okay. And the scent notes to this is Crisp Pear, Summer Daisies. Honeysuckle and Fresh Nectarine and Summer Daisies is the floral in this. I really, really love this packaging too as well. The, the Summer Daisies on, on the bottom. Okay, now we are down to the top two. Can you guys, my subscribers, um, guess what my top two is? I'm sure some of you can from watching my previous videos. 
Number two on my top 10 is Hello Beautiful, of course. <laughs> this one also is in the store still. This is one of their best sellers, I, I would think. It's, I love this scent. It's a very clean floral scent. Okay, very, very pretty packaging. And the scent notes to Hello Beautiful are White Gardenia, Jasmine Petals, Magnolia Blossom, Pink Nectarine, and Cotton Musk. I don't know, for whatever reason, Bath & Body Works loves putting musk in everything. Just like for some reason, summer, when it comes to summer, they like to put coconut in everything. You guys, you don't have to put coconut in all the summer scents. You don't have to put musk in everything else. Like, I really do enjoy this scent, but I just wish that they wouldn't put coconut in everything and musk in everything. Like, please lay back. Now, I do have a lot of things with musk in it, but I choose the ones that's not so heavy on musk. And I also choose the ones that's not so heavy on coconut. Like, it has to be a really, really good scent for me to buy a coconut or a vanilla or a musk scent. This is one of the good ones with musk. And again, this is number two. Hello, beautiful. Okay, you guys. We have finally reached the end of this countdown. You guys, you already know. A lot of you know what it's going to be. My number one top floral Bath & Body Works scent of 2019. And probably of all time so far. It is, of course, my baby. The infamous Japanese Cherry Blossom. I will always buy Japanese cherry blossom as long as they sell it. I'm going to always say that to y'all. <laughs> this is my number one floral scent. This is my number one all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scent. This is the first one I had when I started collecting Bath & Bath Body Works, excuse me, was Japanese cherry blossom. Okay, this is number one. And the scent notes to Japanese cherry blossom, my number one on my top ten uh, Bath & Body Works floral scents is Japanese cherry blossom. Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine, and blushing sandalwood. Again, you see two of my favorite um, scent notes, which is the jasmine and the sandalwood. But guys, they have right now in the store the, um, I guess it's like a preview of the fall collection and that fresh green, fresh greens collection that's coming out. It's a white jasmine that's coming out. That smells so good. Like I was able to um, try it out in the store. I didn't buy it because I would prefer to have the fine fragrance mist. And I'm hoping that the fine fragrance smells just like the mini perfume. But that white jasmine that's coming out on the 29th, 29th excuse me, is delicious. Like, I'm loving it. So, of course, you guys are going to have to stay tuned to my videos to check out my fall haul coming up in a couple of weeks. But this is going to conclude my top 10 Bath & Body Works floral scents. This is number one. Again, Japanese Cherry Blossom. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not leave without liking comment and subscribing to this video i appreciate you guys thank you so much and have a great great day